So I'll put it on Morelos, it's out. For how long is he out? And what is the nature of his injury, please? Uh, well, it, we have to wait the coming days because he will be uh, assessed uh, longer. Uh, but uh, it will be, you know, I think a long-term injury. We don't know how long yet, but uh, hopefully we can give you more uh, more news after the weekend. But uh, so yeah, he's out for sure. Um, he had a, an injury uh, while on duty in Colombia, a muscle injury. So. Uh, yeah, unfortunate for, for him, for all of us, he won't be available on, uh, on Sunday. Just to clarify, Gio, you said a long-term injury. Are you therefore saying he's out for the rest of the season? We don't know yet, but uh, you know, we won't have him back in the next couple of weeks, that's for sure. Okay. Um, in terms of Rangers' aspirations to retain the title, do you need to win on Sunday? Yes, well, we, 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 we need to win no matter what. I mean, it's an old firm game. Uh, of course, if you look at uh, the standings, it's a big opportunity for us to, uh, to go on level points. That's the, the objective we have. That's why, uh, you know, we work hard for, uh, to, to be the winners on, uh, on Sunday. So, yes, we, uh, we want to win, yeah. You mentioned uh, during the Euro one of the European matches that you learn every time you play an opposition side and you pick up things. What did you learn from the, the last open firm match against Celtic? Well, of course, we. Um, I think uh, I've seen Celtic play a lot of times this season. Of course, I, I saw the game back um, we played in February. Um, you know, we didn't play well, especially the first half where we um, you know, had the option and uh, and the space to uh, to play our uh, normal game of uh, we always do, but didn't have the um, you know the patience and the, you know the calmness to to do and play our possession game. That's why we don't come into the game. It's only like uh, defending, and uh, I think um, that's one thing we've learned after that. I think the the team is much more controlled, much more confident with the ball. And that's also what we have to need, what we need on, on Sunday against, uh, you know, a strong opponent. But, you know, we've shown uh, we are strong at home. I'm, I'm confident my team will perform well on Sunday and have a better performance than we, uh, we had a couple of months ago. Yeah, one thing that's diff noticeably different since that match is the flexibility in the team. We've seen it so often with you changing shape and formation, even within games and it going very smoothly. Is that something that, that's a progression from where you were then to where you are now? Yeah, it's, it's definitely one aspect of the game we, uh, we do better. Uh, it's also to recognise which parts uh, of the games is, is uh, which system is needed. You know, we are very, as, a, as you said, very dynamic, very versatile. And, um, you know, I think our, our game management um, is better and better. Uh, and that's, that's also what we need for Sunday and the remaining games of, uh, of this season. Giovanni, you've got a, a very experienced core in your squad, particularly in the context of this fixture. How important is it that your leaders step up on Sunday? Well, it's always in, important. I mean, your 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 leadership group, uh, players who played this game um, before, uh, and and recognize what's needed uh, in these games to win games. Uh, I think that's very important. And you know, we just have to make sure we have the level um, we uh, we want and need to uh, to win an old firm game. And um, you know, I'm confident we will have a good a good. Um, you know, a good performance on Sunday, and uh, because you know we we want the win, and we will do everything to uh, to win to win this game. Can I ask you um, about the rest of your squad as well, please? I know you've mentioned Morelos is out. Um, in terms of the guys that are away on international duty, Aaron Ramsey as well. We heard from the Wales boss um, that he's in a good place. Could you just give us an update on the rest of the guys, please? Well, we, this is the first time we um, uh, we are complete. Only James Sands is, uh, you know, uh, coming back this afternoon from his uh, stay with uh, with the United States. Uh, you know, all the players came back um, fit, and uh, the only concerns or like the only injuries we have for Sunday is Haji and uh, and Morales, but all the other players are available to to feature. 
Hi, Gio. Uh, in terms of the, the supporters on Sunday, how big a role uh, can they play? I mean, we've seen it recently against Dortmund and Red Star. Um, can they be the 12th man on Sunday? Yeah, they will be. <laughs> I mean, it's... Uh... You know, they are very important and, um, you know, it's, um, I, I told the players, you know, I played the, the Legends match on Saturday to, to be on this pitch with all the, uh, the people in the stand. It, 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 it took me back to my playing days and, you know, I think my prayers are, are privileged now to be playing at Ibrox with such a support of, of all the fans. They are there and uh, they definitely will be the 12 men and they will pushing us forward, helping us. Uh, and, and, and screaming us to, uh, to a good result. So, um, yeah, I'm more than happy with the support, you know, so far this season and, and they, they will be supporting us throughout the remaining games of this season. Yeah, and of course, with Alfredo's injury, as much as it's a disappointment, does it offer a great opportunity, I guess, for someone perhaps like Kimar Roof to, to come in and, and show what he can do? Well, we, 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 we are, you know, without Morelos, we have a big squad. We have Kamar who, uh, who played, uh, you know, more, uh, more games the last, um, the last weeks. He was very important, uh, scored some important goals, had, had two great assists against Dundee. So, yes, he's definitely one of the players uh, who have to step up and, 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 and make sure he's... Uh, He's getting the performance uh, in for the team and to help us as a, as a club, but um, Kamara is, is ready. It's the first properly competitive season that Rangers have been in, in the top flight since 2011. Yeah. Just because of the way that the you know other seasons finished a little bit early, yeah. shall we say. Well, it's, of course, I mean, I think uh, last season you were already champions for maybe three weeks, I think. So that shows how 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 um, how quick last season uh, was decided. Um, this year is 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 more close, and uh, you know with the uh, with the remaining games, you know anything can happen. So uh, it's definitely a, a close season, very competitive, and uh, I think it will go all the way to uh, to the end of the season. And uh, so we have to make sure we're gonna go back um, uh, you know with, with winning this game on Sunday and uh, then the remaining games will be will be all finals but uh, yes it's closer than, than it's been before and uh, you know it's uh, it's a challenge but uh, you want challenges in life and you have to embrace them and uh, and work hard for uh, you know to be successful lastly if I could ask you about um Steve Davis, obviously, he uh, played for Northern Ireland during the week. Um, the way that the season has developed with Steve been out, are you are you likely to be using him between now and the end of the season? Because I think the way the, the midfield's developed, it's going to be quite quite difficult for him to find a spot again. Well, Stephen was, um, you know, Stephen had a lot of um, uh, problems uh, with his injuries, and he was never really um, uh, fully available. You know, every time you know he was starting a game or maybe uh, was in contention to play, he he gets setbacks in training. You know, I think uh, it's very disappointing uh, for for Stephen. Um, but you know, I'm happy for Stephen that he has. Uh, he has played minutes for his country uh, because he haven't, uh, he wasn't been able to to play for us. So, uh, and as you said, we have a lot of midfield players, but you know, I think Stephen with his uh, with his um, with his quality experience, you know, is a very important player. But uh, so uh, for me now, he's he's available. So that's uh, that's I think the positive thing for uh, for Stephen, but also for myself.